Hi everyone, myself Harsha, I am Pega trainer at Harsha Trainings. So all of you welcome to Harsha Trainings. So learn Pega in depth all the concepts at its best. In this video, you are going to learn about the types of requesters in Pega and how to remote trace a, re a requester on the server and also how to view the clipboard of the remote requesters. Before we go to the video, so a small announcement that we are going to start Pega training new batch starting from 31st May of this month and that is starting from next to Tuesday. Timings will be morning 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. So we have two modes of sessions like classroom and online live sessions. So anyone from anywhere you can join Pega training uh, like online mode or if you are from Hyderabad you can join classroom training and the course duration is and the course duration is three and a half months and we are going to cover from basic level to advanced level covering two real time projects. So one will be taught in the class and the other one is going to be given as um, like an assignment uh, for you to work from your work at your free time. Call us on the number that is shown in this video for any training inquiry and we are going to show you job opportunities on Pega as well as we will help you uh, getting the jobs even if you have career gap after your education. Now let's get on to the video. So let me explain you the topic related to requesters and types. See what is meant by a requester? Requester means generally an operator who log into PRPC and who is doing some process. I am an operator, I logged into Pega. For me, a requester session will get created. For me, a requester section session is going to get created. The session will be active till I am there login. And once I log up, session will be destroyed. Again, I log in, session will be created. How do you identify a session? Session will be identified for a requester by something called requester ID. For that requester ID means you, you are using a login operator ID devimpl at the rate pna.com. The moment you log into BRBC successfully, process commander will create a request session for you. There will be one requester ID that gets created. The ID will be hexadecimal ID. I will show you. So, 1000 people have logged in, 1000 requesters will get created. Okay. Every requester that gets created is an instance of class code Pega requester. What is the class? Somewhere we have seen code Pega before also. Code Pega list. Okay. Code Pega requester is the class for which every request is in. It. Suppose today I logged in with same ID. Today I logged in twice. How many requesters will be getting created? Two requesters, two different IDs will be there for the two sessions you have logged. Understand everyone clear? Now, in Pega, there will be n number of requesters that are going to log in. See, a requester need not to be always a human. A requester need not to be always a human. A requester may be a human. A requester may be a background processing. A requester may be a web service. Our listener requester may be simply a portal requester. So these are four types of requesters. There are four types of requesters. Human, how they log into BRPC by using browser. So browser requester, background processing. Example is browser means operator, right? And background processing means agents, web services, web services, and listeners. Portal is portal you are aware of. There are four types of requesters browser type of requester and background processing requester. This is called batch processing. What do you call this? Batch processing requester, background processing. Web services are listeners and portal requester. See, whenever a requester login, a requester ID gets created. That requester IDs will start with a specific character. So, two requesters have logged in, two operators. Both are logged in from browser. For both of them, two requester IDs will get created. These two requester IDs, when you see, starting character will be same. So each type of requester for the ID, starting character will be same. I will show you here in the admin studio. I will explain you about admin studio after this. See, if you go to resources and requester management, see here. 
see there are requester ids so that are getting created this may be for login ids this may be for internal background processing that is done this may be for web service that is getting executed this may be portal but a requester id which is starting the first character b b means browser sorry b means batch processing b means background processing or batch processing for an agent when it wakes up prpc will create one requester id agent when it wake up it will create suppose in a day agent wake up three times how many requester ids would have been created for a, that particular agent three so agent is a one of the example of background processing or batch processing so requester id will get created it starts with b and let's go and see what are the other ids and all available just hold on a minute This conference will now be now, recorded. I go to tenth one, tenth page to find out. Other than B, you see something called A. Requester ID starts with B is batch processing, background processing. Starts A is usually it is called as application web services. So web services, listeners, all that is starting with A. When third party system sends a request to Pega, web service will start running. For that, requester ID will get created starting with the character A. And other than A and B, you see my ID. I'll show you. It is starting with H. H means human. Humans will be logged in by using browser, right? So any operator log into Pega, the operator requester ID will be created starting with the character of H. Clear? Makes sense, everyone. So like this, PRPC will have A, B. H P P you cannot see here. For everything, the portal that is getting executed, it will have internally P. You don't see it. So here you go now to the notepad. So for browser, it starts with H. Browser means human. That's why it is H. And background processing, batch processing B. Web services, listeners, and other things A. And portal request is P. You don't see it generally. Okay. So this is how process command is going to create requester IDs and see every requester that is going to log into PRPC will have the ID created here. And the moment they log out, it will get it will get removed from the table. What is the table? Code Pega requester related table. Okay, code Pega requester class and the connected table to it. So that's it. This is about requester and types of requesters. Now I'm going to explain you the next topic is about admin studio. See, if you want to access admin studio from here, you can access admin studio. See by the name itself, it says admin studio means this particular portal is for the purpose of administration tasks. Usually administration tasks will be done at server level. Administration means it will be done at server level. Okay. See, the admin studio what we see here today this was being called as this was being called as system management application what is it being called as system management application the admin studio which we are calling today which we are saying today it used to be called as system management application you wanted to know how a system management application looks like in older version you go to my old youtube channel is there okay once you can see there so anyhow this has been transformed into admin studio integrated into brpc itself previously it was a separate application when you click on a link it will open in a new browser now you see here see admin studio using admin studio we can perform the administration task related to requester management jobs management queue processor management listener management agents management agent queues management requester pools management log management and apis we can access system settings we can access many tasks we can do but you are not aware of all of these tasks as of now requester management let me show you how you can do requester management is someone has logged in some operator logged in there is something getting executed infinitely as a result server uh, cpu is being consumed a lot he cannot log in the control is not in his hands now as an admin you can preempt the requester you can forcefully dismiss the requester here at the requester here at the end for this requester click on these icons 
and terminate the request terminate the request if you choose that he will be locked out someone else now there is another requirement business business user is saying that when i click on this button nothing is happening it is not going forward nothing is happening it is still there on the screen but in development everywhere it is working fine it is doing some action it is proceeding forward and something is being done now i wanted to know exactly what is happening when he is clicking on that button what is being executed in the background where the error is coming i wanted to know usually i'll go to log files as of now you don't you are not sure about log files but i wanted to trace him what he is doing i wanted to trace in my system i logged in by using login id 1 he logged in by using login id 2 if i open tracer in my login id that will trace everything what i am executing but now i want to open tracer in my login id but i want to trace what the other person is doing this concept is called as remote tracing what do you call this remote tracing i want to trace remote users now i'll ask him okay you do perform i will go to his operator id related requester here operator id will be shown like previously i have shown you and here you see uh, trace you see option of trace this is not my tracer this tracer session is related to other operator whatever that he is doing the action that will be traced here understand this is called remote tracing make sense everyone clear now i wanted to see the clipboard of the other operator if i log in and click on clipboard that will show my clipboard i want to see other operator's clipboard go into the request session here view clipboard you can analyze the data on the clipboard also this is called viewing the remote requester's clipboard okay so this is how admin studio is going to help with request management to know about other requesters and coming to agents see the agent you are creating right the agent which we create it should sync with the node it should be configured on the node 